All right, so we were driving down a little stretch of road and we were close to the water, although we couldn't really see it. Casey could see it on the Google map or the Google Earth that he was looking at. And he was sure, sure, sure that there was a beach. Um, so we passed this place. You're gonna see it coming up soon. This little water right there. And he was sure there was a beach. So we went back, we parked our bikes and we came back to it on our bikes. And well, there was no beach, but it was really nice anyway. I am going to take a chance and try to walk off the end of the road. Um, there's some crab down here. See if I can go underwater and show you. Yeah, oh no, they're actually eating a fish head. So there you go. I hope this is a good idea. It doesn't seem to possibly go on. The water's warm. There's Jen. Hello, Jen. This will be a neat little gamble if we if we make it out here and it works. Maybe there's a little bit of uh land that we can carry our bikes over to. I'm not sure. That's why we're here. Looks pretty. Looks promising. I guess. All right. Let me slow down. Jen tells me I need to slow down. There I go. So, yeah, I don't know where we're at. We'll look it up later on that. So, I'm going to say... The water's shallow enough. We could probably carry our bikes out here. Oh, there's some land over there. Maybe carry our bikes. This shallow water is not going to bother them. And we'll just kind of spend some time out here. Do a little swimming. That's what I think I'm going to do. This is where we came from. Nice gem again. And this is where we will be. The water is probably about six to eight inches deep. So why not? Why not? All right, let's do this. Go back. I think Jen's taking a picture of me taking a picture. Um, we have iPhones and we have the, um, the case where you can put it underneath water and take videos and pictures and stuff. It was like 80 bucks, I think, but I think it's worth it if you're, and plus I've dropped it so many times. So yeah, life proof, I think it's called. So if you have an iPhone or life proof does the cases for other phones, which I'm sure they do, I would suggest getting it. It's fun. For, at least for me.
aquí así. I don't know how Jen's gonna like the whole bike carry video. Let's we'll see if I can. But I'm not leaving it there. Hey, what do you say we. The water is only like this deep. What do you say we carry our bikes and just set them like right there? And then. And then we'll just kind of hang out. I locked them up together. Oh, really? I locked them to each other. Um, like tightly, so it'd be hard to get away with it. Uh, let's just bring them. I think it would be smarter. And where are we going to set them? We're going to like set them, I don't know, like right over there. There's no dry land. Here. Not really, per se. And we don't know if the tide's coming or going. That's true. So, um, yeah. Because the tide probably comes all the way up to here. Yeah, I get it. I know how it works. I think you'll like it when we get out there. Well, they're pretty fast when they want to be, huh? Look at that. Look at them. That one seems to be the bully on the fish head. I wonder if he lets anyone else get in. Let's see if he's gonna bother me. Oh, he says no, you're too big. Look at that. What kind of fish head is that? He's like, but, but no, but no, that's my fish. But no, give me back my fish. You're too tall. Here you go. <laughs> He was like reaching for it, going, eh, eh. Yeah. All right, so. This is a long video, but we'll take more pictures when we get out there. It should be fun. So, I got my bike. It doesn't seem very deep. Jen just carried hers. And this is ours. For a while, the tide is going out, so. That's nice, I guess, for now. And there's really no salt water getting on our bikes. Put my shoes over there. Jen's got hers on, which is smart. Okay, so it's off the beaten path a bit, just a bit. So we are gonna go maybe try to walk all this, that should be fun, and try to walk all the way out there and keep an eye on the tide so we don't get stuck out here. Okay, hopefully we'll see some neat creatures. <laughs> There's a neat creature, she's a neat creature. It's kind of interesting to see how the root system, root, root, whatever, system works on this tree. It's kind of like a little story. But um, it starts there, and they go in these little lines, and these little roots pop up. And then over here. It's pretty neat. I think that's pretty neat. Well, I make 
making my way out as far as I can. Well, you know. And the water is not deep, but the mud is getting deeper. Or the sand or whatever. It's called. Not muddy sand. But, we made it out this far. There's Jen. Yeah, I can understand this could be too exciting, but it's lovely. Well, if you ever wonder what it's like, I'd say uh, a couple hundred yards out in the water, at least right here. I mean, a fish just jumped, but other than that, this is about it. Yeah, I guess it just goes like this until it doesn't. So it took a little convincing, but we got her. We got her out of here, out here. That was not very graceful, was it? Uh, take two. <laughs> That's what she said. I don't know. Um, I'm glad you came out. Yay, Jen's out. It's scary. Hello. I feel like I'm in the Gulf Bay Blair Witch Project. Uh, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> whatever. You can call it whatever you want. Are we grasping the concept of where we are? Do we understand? There's the land behind me. There's a mangrove behind me. There is nobody in the mangrove. We walked our bikes. We picked That's them up. Out a, a little out of the way. Butterflies can fly forever. They never have to touch down on land. No, I'm making that up. That's not correct and accurate science. <laughs> I didn't sound like it. Earth in case. Yay! <laughs> In the bay! See, I told you. It's scary like you're thinking. There we are. And there's everything around us crazy like. What are you doing, video? Crazy, yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to take a picture. I know, you did that. I did a video. Jen? Hello! Hello! Do a feature!